Side Sports, Paul Kennedy, along with Stanley Cup captain Dave Andrew and the mayor of Channel Side, his honor in Chris Stingman. Well, this series, and I think you two gentlemen will be the first to tell me, is not over, but I would much rather be in the position of the Tampa Bay Lightning than the Washington Capitals going into game four tonight. What's the mindset have to be for either club? Well, especially back to back, the mindset's got to be get the lead and start getting the lead early and play good early for your Tampa Bay Lightning. You don't want to give Washington any hope. You want to kick them, they're down. You want to keep kicking them. You want to give them zero hope. You, the longer, the, as we touched on last game, the longer the game goes zero zero or one nothing for Tampa, the better it is for them. The more pressure on Washington. And obviously Washington, they can't look past this game. They can't think that we're going to go back to Washington and try to, you know, get closer in this series. I think they got to just worry about. This one game, they talked about it early. It's going to be hard for them to do it. And like you said, Chris, the first 10. So they've been so good on faceoffs, but it's the puck possession. All that all starts with putting the puck in places where you can get it back. And that's a. Lines are all, all in. Another goaltender. This one right When scoring at least three goals, and there was something like 33 0 and 4 when leading in the third. That never happens to them the third period of play. Well, that was good. That showed the Tampa Bay Lightning just continuing to go at them, and that's all part of momentum, even within a series, but within a game. You can lose momentum so quickly, and once Tampa started getting going there, it was so hard for Washington to get momentum back, and you saw that the 55 shot man in the third period. Well, he also talked this morning about, you know, being down 3-0 and how you have to approach it. You have to approach it as if, like, if you're 16 points out of first, you're not going to get it back in one game, but it looks a lot better if you win two or three in a row and you get closer. So he had the mindset that they're not going to win it all back the series in one game, but it's a tough task. Well, when they got the lead back, Tampa Bay did not sit back. They continued to attack, as uh, was pointed out by Stephen Shemko. Sensed it, man. Four to miss his first goal. It's kind of like a Viking. His channel is in a Viking there, but he's, he's impressed me so much in his maturation. And, when you're a young defenseman and you're a high pick, you try and do too much with the puck. And sometimes it's simplifying your game, and the simplest play is the best play. And that's something he's really realizing. When do I jump into play? When do I make that extra pass and jump into play? And he's done such a good job of realizing when to do that and not do that. Well, I mean, let's look where he was a year ago. I mean, uh, you're exactly right, Chris. I think at the beginning, he was really trying to do too much. And, uh, you know, I think he digressed that as the year went on, his first year. But I think coaching now has made him realize what he has to do. They've made it specific to him to keep the game simple. And, you know, this is a guy that uh, obviously has uh, got a lot of talent. And uh, he's starting to learn the game. And it's, to me, it's uh, he's been one of our best events. Here's the perspective of his peers in the bull pressure room and his coaches in the play of Victor Hedman.